Hey guys, I am 12 weeks and 3 days today, and yes, I'm using my iPhone. But anyway, I had my NT scan yesterday, and it was actually really eventful. So, but I'm going to talk about that in a second. Because first I want to talk about my symptoms. First of all, my lips are like really bloody and getting big cracks in them because I'm picking at them. But that just could be the time of year because in the winter my lips always get really dry and I pick them completely <laughs> bloody. But that happened with Molly as well, so it could be kind of a pregnancy symptom. Uh, the next two are things that have been happening a little bit. My hips are starting to click really bad when I take steps. Sometimes they um, are starting to, they're starting to really loosen up and they are clicking a lot, especially the one on my right. And also, this happened with Molly, this is definitely a pregnancy symptom, but if I open my jaw wide enough, it pops on this side of this joint. And it's really loud, it doesn't hurt, and I talked to my dentist about it, he said it was fine. Of course it wasn't clicking then, but he said it was fine, so it's just nothing to worry about, it's just kind of annoying. My nausea is starting to go away, but... I still get nauseous, especially in the morning when I think about food and like just gross things, but it is going away, thankfully. I don't gag very much anymore. I've been really, really, really emotional. I have been crying at everything, so that's kind of awkward because I hate crying in front of people, but I've been crying. I've been such a crybaby, and that is definitely part of pregnancy. Um... I swear I can feel this baby move. Like, I know I'm only 12 weeks, and I asked the ultrasound tech if it was possible that I could be feeling kicks already, and she said it was kind of early. But I swear I feel kicks. Like, if they're not kicks, they will be really soon, because I felt Molly kick at 14 weeks. And I am almost there, so... I don't know if it's actual kicks or not, but I'm just going to say they are. And it's because it's, like, where my uterus is. Um... I did the little Chinese gender lunar chart thing and it said I'm having a girl, so that's cool. So anyway, on to the ultrasound. It was very, very eventful. So, let's see, I got there, and if you remember from my last video, I really didn't want to have this, like, quad screen or whatever it's called done. I just, it doesn't make me feel comforted <laughs> knowing that it only gives a percentage of like, things that could be wrong. It doesn't say, like, for sure your baby has this. It just says, oh, based on this ultrasound measurement and this hormone in your blood, your baby has an X percent chance of having Downs or something, which, of course, my sister has Downs, so I don't care if my baby has Downs. My sister would be ecstatic. But it's just not very reassuring to me that it doesn't, like, tell you for sure. And so they asked me when I got there what I was there for, and I said, oh, the NT scan. And then they were like, do you want it? And I was like, to be honest, not really. And I said, I'm, I'm really only here just to make sure my due date is accurate. And it was. So my due date still stands. It is still June 28th. And I got lots of pictures. A lot of them you can't really tell what the things are, but she got some really good profiles of this baby. So I will put in a picture. But I really think that this baby has Ben's nose. It's kind of hard to tell in the picture, but the nose is a lot more pointy than Molly's was on her profile from her anatomy ultrasound. And the biggest news from yesterday's visit was they asked me if I wanted the new blood test that tests for my baby's DNA using just my blood, because baby's DNA is in my blood. And that's the, that's the, not the scan, that's the test I wanted in the first place. And I was so excited she brought that up. I was like, yes, yes, of course, that's the one I really want because that will tell for absolute sure if my baby has a problem and it will also tell me the sex of the baby. So I asked her when she was drawing the blood for that, I was like, 
so this will tell me the sex, right? And she's like, yeah. I was like, are you allowed to tell or is that like a secret? She's like, no, we can tell you. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want to know. So next week we're going to know if we're having a boy or a girl because of that test. So I'm very excited. So it's kind of like unreal. It's just like, whoa, we're going to find out the sex already. So yeah, next week I will know if we are having a boy or a girl and I will do... A sex reveal and a name reveal. I'll do like a name hint reveal. I've got a really good thing planned, a cool thing planned for that. And I will definitely do a sex reveal. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it, if Ben wants to help me or not, but I have some really good ideas planned for how I want to do those, so I will definitely do those. So I'm really excited about that. And um, they also... As long as I was giving blood, they were like, hey, do you want to be tested to see if you're a carrier for CF? And I said, okay. Like, I really don't think I am because there is zero family history at all anywhere in my family of having cystic fibrosis. But they said, like, I could get that test even if I wasn't pregnant. So they weren't testing the baby. They were just testing me. And if I am a carrier, they're going to test Ben and see if he's a carrier. But to be honest, I really don't think either of us are carriers. If we are, it'll be like, whoa, that's unexpected. So... They just did that as well. So I got some pictures. I got some cute pictures of Molly's little brother or his sister. And it was a lot bigger than it was two weeks ago. And it was moving. It wasn't moving as much, but it was moving around. And the heartbeat was 153. So that was great. That's kind of where Molly's was. Hers was in like the 160s, 150s the whole time. This baby reminds me so much of Molly. So yeah. So anyway, and I'm really excited to know if we're having a boy or a girl. There we go. So that's pretty much all for this week. It's kind of longer since I updated. I have my stats, but I will have to do them once Molly's asleep, because obviously Molly is sitting with me right now in my old bedroom, which is empty, and I am not able to show you my belly or anything. So I will do that later. But I will talk to you guys for week 13. Bye. Okay, here's from the side and the front and the side. And with the shirt up, here's from the side and the front and the other side. It's really bright right here. Okay, my weight this week is 157.4. Last week it was 159.2, so I lost a little bit of weight. And my waist is actually the same as it was last week. It's 37 and a half inches around. But I definitely feel way more popped out, and when I'm full and I've drank a lot of water and stuff, it is really big. So right now, I'm a little bit hungry and stuff, so it's not so big. So yeah, there's my measurements for this week.